Hello, and welcome to the installation video of the Indoor Access Points AP505i, AP510i, and AP510e. In this video, you will learn how to install the Indoor Access Points to a non-protruded suspended ceiling using the 37201 bracket that is shipped with the unit, and the 37211, also known as the WSMBI DC flush bracket that must be purchased separately. In this video, we will show mostly the AP510i access point as the bracket attachments are the same for all of the AP500 series access points. First, we will start by showing the attachment with the 37201 bracket. The 37201 is also called the main mounting bracket for indoor access points, and it is a stainless steel bracket that attaches to a non-protruded ceiling T-bar and flat ceiling tiles without any steps near the edges. To install the access point on a ceiling, you will need the following hardware. The access point and the 37201 stainless steel bracket. When installing the access point with the main mounting bracket to a flat T-bar, ensure that the T-bar width is nominally 15 16 inch, the T-bar is flat all the way across, the T-bar is structurally sound, the maximum base thickness of the T-bar must not exceed 0.055 inches, and the ceiling tile is flat all the way across without any steps. To install the AP, remove the ceiling tile, push and rotate the main mounting bracket onto the T-bar in such a way that the center angled locking tabs of the main bracket gets attached to the T-bar. Attach the access point to the main mounting bracket by aligning the access point mounting holes against the bracket feet. Hold and rock the access point back and forth to ensure that it is securely mounted. Attach the Ethernet cable's RJ45 connector to the GE1 port and replace the tiles. You have now installed the access point using the 37201 bracket. Next, we will show how to install the access point using the DC flush or the 37211 bracket. We start by removing the ceiling tiles around the T-bar rail. Open the movable sliding part of the bracket to give the stationary end slider T-bar more space. Hook the stationary end of the DC flush bracket onto the T-bar. Tilt the bracket up slightly in such a way that you are holding the stationary and movable sides of the bracket and their clips will hold the T-bar properly. Squeeze the bracket parts together until you hear the T-bar locking tab click into place. The T-bar must be visible in the bracket slots as shown. Slide the DC flush bracket base into the back of the access point. The locking tab fits into a groove outside the access point. Attach the RJ45 cable and place the ceiling tile back in place. You have now successfully installed the AP500 series access point on a non-protruded ceiling. For more installation options, visit the Extreme Networks documentation site and refer to AP500 series installation guides.